Hi, Tracy Noppy here, T Noppy on Twitter uh, with GenesisBlogging.com. This is going to be a video to show you how to register your own domain name at GoDaddy.com, which is who I use to register my domain names. So very easy, very quick tutorial. Uh, you just want to go to GoDaddy.com and um, you enter in the domain name that you want to see is available right here in this box, right here on the first page. and I am going to see if this one is available and you can choose your extension right here dot com is the most is automatically selected for you but if you want to choose another one you can and then you select go to see if it is available and it is and here you will see all the other different um, options that are available um, you can buy the .net, the .info. If those were not available, it would tell you that they were not available. Um, you know, just as an aside, um, you know, for different options. It also gives you um, also available names like variations possibly on the name, um, some premium domain names that people have already purchased that they're wanting to sell, um, that sort of thing. Um, if you have up here, check the box of. of you know, if this is the name that you want to get, go ahead and check this box. You scroll down here and click Proceed to Checkout. And after the page loads, then you're going to, you know, they offer you some options. I usually always click No, Continue to Checkout. Just kind of avoid those. And um, if you do not have an account with GoDaddy, then this is where you can create an account. Um, I already have an account, so they, they're recognizing my account number, so I can go ahead and you know check that. Or if you had not been logged in, you can tick this box and you can go ahead and log in. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, click continue, but if you need to create an account, you would click this and then you would fill in all your information right here and then you would click continue right there. Well, didn't like to recognize that, did it? Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, okay, by default it selects the five-year option. Um, I'm just going to choose one year. Um, you can choose to have it certified if you want. I, I don't do that. Um, you can add hosting or, or email or, or whatever else you want. I don't. I, I personally prefer to use GoDaddy just for my domain name registrations. Um, I like to keep my domain name and my hosting service providers separate just simply because there might come a time when you might want to transfer that domain name or sell that domain name and I just like to for my own personal reasons keep some of these services separate I think GoDaddy is fabulous at domain name registrations I personally believe that there are other providers that have better hosting packages than what GoDaddy offers that's you know and I'm going to cover that in another video um, if you need to select your name servers for hosting it elsewhere, um, this is you would click this. If you know that information when you're registering your domain name, you would click that and you would enter that information here and you need to have at least two. Generally they start with NS1, then a, like a domain name.com or net or whatever, and then NS2. Dot than, than the name. But you need to enter in there whatever your hosting provider gives you. Okay? Whatever your hosting provider gives you. Right now we're just going to leave this parked at GoDaddy because in my next video I'm going to set up hosting at HostGator and I'm going to come back and show you how to change this and how to set it once you have a domain name registered. But if you already know that information you can enter that in here when you're actually registering the domain name. Um, something else you might want to check. Um, by default, it auto renews the domain name when it's due to expire. Now you can choose to leave that on the default and it will automatically charge your credit card, debit card,
PayPal account or whatever it is that you're going to use to pay for your domain name, it'll automatically bill that account um, prior to your uh, domain's expiration date. If you prefer to manually choose to renew your domain name and they will send you notices ahead of time via email, you just click that link and that switches it over to the manual renewal option. Um, and down here you can choose to um, make your registration information private. It's supposed to help prevent spam so none of your information is available. Um, I, I personally don't do that. I'm a business and you know my information is already out there so um, anyway I, I, I don't do that but if you wanted to do that you would add it would add nine dollars and ninety nine cents per year to the cost of your domain okay I'm going to choose down here no I don't want to customize my order because if you leave that ticked every page that you go to after you can, can t click continue they're going to keep they're going to offer you more services that you can purchase and buy and they're like upsells, whatever. Not that there's anything wrong with that. If you want to do that, that's great. I don't, so I'm just going to click no and click continue. Okay, here we are um, on the next page where we get to confirm our order and review the cart. And you'll see that it's $10.19 um for the order that's because they add on the 20 cent i can fee or you know whatever it is that they have to add uh, um, onto your nine dollars and 99 cents and i've chosen one year and it's public so it's just all the general basic information of course i've got a couple of them uh do expiring so it, it kind of is notifying me of that in case i want to um you know renew those at this time i can do that um, so anyway, I'm going to um, tick this and I'm going to put this on pause because when I click checkout um, and I choose my payment option, that's going to kick me over to a page where I confirm all, it's going to reveal all of my personal information where you verify your name, address, phone number, and then you would enter in your payment um, information on that page. So I'm going to put this on pause and when we come back um, I'll finish up the video. Okay, I have completed my order, uh, made my payment and it brought me to my thank you page with um, where I can click and view a printable receipt or log into my account. It gave me my order number. Um, I can actually print this page or you know whatever. But there um, that has it. I am done registering my domain name. Um, so that is all there is to it. It's really just that simple. Just really point and click, fill out some form fields, uh, submit your payment information, whether, you know, through PayPal or your debit card, credit card, or, you know, whatever. But that's really all it is. It's just that simple to register a domain name with GoDaddy. So um, I'll see you in the next video when we set up hosting for that domain name. Speak to you soon.